Hey guys, it's Taste Pink. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is super special. It's actually an update video for the personal microdermabrasion tool that I received nearly a year ago. And since posting that video, I received a number of requests to do an update. People wanna know how my skin is. How is it responding to the treatment? Am I currently still using it? So of course, I'm going to answer all of those questions and give you guys my honest opinion. I'm not being compensated in any way to do this update nor review, so it's authentic, it's real. Yeah, so if you haven't already done so, definitely subscribe. I have a ton of awesome videos out there that might be of interest to you. Thumbs up this video if it's helpful in the slightest. So to jump right into it, you wanna know, does the PMD work? What do you mean by work? What's your definition of work? It's efficacy, how effective it is. Is it going to rid you of acne forever? Is it going to prevent future breakouts? Is your skin going to drastically change within just one treatment? I caution you to be very realistic and understand that every skin type is going to respond differently because there are a number of factors that will you know, play a role in the transformation, if any, of your skin while you are using the PMD. I want to start out by saying that it's not gonna prevent future breakouts. Breakouts occur for a number of reasons, some being poor dieting, some to environment, and even you know, hormonal changes, especially for women, especially during the menstrual cycle, not to be TMI, but we have to be real. And it's going to be something where if you were getting breakouts, you know, around a certain time of the month or when you consume certain foods, that can very well continue to happen. The PMD is not going to change that. However, what it can do is reduce the size of those blemishes. It can help to fade areas of hyperpigmentation. And while you're not supposed to use the tool around active breakout sites, meaning that you're not supposed to um, slide the disc across areas that have broken skin because that can lead to infection, cross-contamination of the skin, you may find that you have even more breakouts in other areas. And when I first began using the PMD, as you guys can see, my cheeks were so heavily affected. This was a problem area for me. Of course, I had an oily T because I had oily combination sensitive skin that was very much acne prone and a bit of hyperpigmentation, but my cheeks were mostly affected and I could not understand why. And you guys can see that when I am doing the demonstration, my, I was so surprised at how my skin looks because it does not look like that now. After using the PMD, and I will say that I did not use it regularly, I did not have a schedule, there was not something like every on the seventh day I need to use it, it was nothing like that. It was more so when I remember, and that's the honest truth. When I remember to use the PMD, it was it had to be at least seven days past before I use it again as they advise. And I would stick to using the green disc, the blue disc. The red disc is way too abrasive for my skin. I actually did receive a bit of scarring when using the red disc. So I would recommend that for persons who have tougher skin, not sensitive skin. So I steered clear of the red disc at all cost. And if you're in the process of trying to figure out what disc works for you, do the skin test first and even try your first demo with the testing disc that they recommend. I use the PMD probably every seven days for two weeks and then I would fall off for a month and then I would use it every seven days and fall off for like two weeks and then I would skip an entire month and start up and do it every other week. I was very sporadic. I did not have a routine but one thing that I definitely noticed is that in the area of my t-zone that's where the pores sometimes become enlarged. It definitely helps to reduce them and I find that when I use the PMD at night and I treat my skin with a toner and I even follow it by using some type of very light oil, like a D-Lo oil, 
and a nice enriched creamy moisturizer when i wake up in the morning my skin i can tell that the pores are reduced in size my skin does feel smoother and any blemishes that i have they do reduce in size that is one thing that i always notice and over time my skin has become a lot smoother because i have less area or surface area of you know active breakouts so i'm going to show a side by side and that my area of the cheeks you can see it's nowhere near as full of pimples and hyperpigmentation that has reduced and again if you are going to use this tool i recommend that you use sunscreen some form of spf to treat your skin when you are using this tool it's exfoliating it's removing the layer of dead skin and exposing new skin that is not yet necessarily kind of ready to deal with the elements so you have to prepare it you have to work with it you have to nurse it and sunscreen is a great way to ensure that your skin is protected sun exposure is not just something where you have to be concerned on vacation it's 365 days out of the year and a subscriber or viewer of mine actually helped me to understand that that's great logic and if you do the skin test and you realize you know i think i'm ready to do this if you find that after 30 days this is not working for you they do have a return policy and you can you know return your product and get your money back but you are not going to see clearer skin and instantaneous results after just one use you need about six to eight weeks i would even go as far as to say 12 weeks to begin to see change because that's how it was for me it's gradual i don't believe it's instant i don't think 30 days is fair i believe anywhere from 90 days to even like I said six to 12 weeks is when you can really start to see a change and if you keep this tool within your skincare regimen you will see a, a transformation of your skin but keep in mind that your skincare regimen has to be strong this is something that should accompany a very strong very effective skincare regimen and your skincare regimen should change with the season because your skin is going to require different things at, you know at different points of the year that's something to keep in mind again cleaning up your diet does wonders I've taken a lot of food out of my daily diet and creating a food log creating a log of how your skin changes throughout the year is pivotal and you can you know learn trends and things about your skin that you may not have noticed before being very vigilant about how your skin responds to the elements changes in temperature or situations in your life stress that's important so i hope this is very much you know thorough i'm gonna insert some video of me actually using the PMD so you guys can see firsthand how I use this and I think it's very beneficial to at least try it you have 30 days it can't hurt I do recommend it um, again be careful of certain discs because it may you know have an adverse effect on your skin it depends on your skin type and the level of sensitivity but again be sure to read the manual educate yourself do your research so that you can so that you can get the best out of your you know expenses with you know with this tool so i hope this was helpful thank you so much for watching again give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful i hope i shared some great insight and i'll look forward to seeing you in the next one yeah.